The pot calling the kettle black. This is an idiom that refers to someone accusing another person of a fault or flaw that they possess themselves. It highlights hypocrisy, where the accuser is guilty of the very thing they are criticising. The phrase is believed to have originated in the early 17th century. It is derived from the observation that both pots and kettles, which were typically made of cast iron, would blacken with soot when used over an open fire. Thus, a pot calling a kettle black is ironic because both are similarly tarnished. When is the earliest time people have heard this? Well, the earliest recorded use of a similar sentiment is found in Thomas Shelton's 1620 translation of Don Quixote. Let's have a look at some examples. So in a workplace setting, for example, Jane says, I can't believe Mark always shows up late to meetings. And Alice, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? You're late almost every day. In politics, we all love some politics, a politician accusing another of corruption might be called out if they themselves have a history of dubious dealings. For example, his speech on integrity seemed like the pot calling the kettle black. And in daily life, our daily life, our day-to-day -day life, John says, I can't stand people who gossip all the time. And Mary, that's the pot calling the kettle black, John. You're the biggest gossip I know. Yes, men gossip too. So the pot calling the kettle black is a widely recognised idiom used to point out hypocrisy. It was historical, well it has historical roots in literature and has remained relevant across various contexts, from casual conversations to formal discourse.